Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 100. We finally made it, y'all. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. This is the most, this is a, I ain't going to say he the most special guest because I had Kyle on the podcast. Uh, <laughs> but if you know me, you definitely know this nigga. This is my right hand man. Introduce yourself to the audience. What's up, everybody? This is Ro. You know, me and Hype been down since day one. For real, for real, the real time. Not that shit everybody be talking about. Yeah, this is diapers and taking baths together type day one. <laughs> sure. sure. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. This H Y M P E. You got that one already. How to Hustle Live Show. How to Hustle Live Show is March the 12th. Special guest featuring my man Sipping with Sammy and Sai. Sam and Sai, shouts out to them on the 200 episode that they just did a couple of weeks ago. Had a good time at the situation. Also, shout out to my man CEO Ro. He just had his uh, 18th pause and left the event. Uh, couple of nights ago, and he had a beautiful turnout for the situation. Definitely shout out to my bro. Uh, let's hit the rundown now. E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. Tuesday, 2 o'clock on the GFT Radio Network. We got a new one, y'all. Tuesdays on Hit Nation Empire. Hit Nation Empire. You know what I'm saying? That is an iHeart Radio uh, station. So you get in your cars. You log into your iHeart, 7 o'clock every Tuesday. You can find me on the Hit Nation Empire. Wednesdays is still 216 to blend. It's 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Fridays is the I Say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. and THC Media on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Sunday, still looking, I'm saying, make that West Coast situation happen. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. Follow that on Instagram only. It's roofing, plumbing, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, carpet, and flooring. We make all of that situation happen. Uh, at H2H only, cleaning only uh, on Instagram. Custom Hustle, Custom Hustle World, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Custom jerseys, jackets, t shirts. Uh, sweatsuits, and now breaking news, we now have the sneaks are in. The Custom Hustle sneaks, you know what I'm saying? Those Air Hustle ones are in. So, you know what I'm saying? You get at me, we can make them happen any color you want. We go up to a 14. We got the kids, we have ladies sizes, however you need to have them, we can get your whole outfit. The jerseys, the jackets, the sweatsuit, and the sneaks now. The only thing I ain't got is hats and I'm working on them, because my hats cost too much. The pictures you see with me with hats on, they cost too much. You're not going to pay $200 for a hat. So I'm not going to tell you about hats yet. Um, but let's go. This is episode 100. Episode 100 is the best man. This is, like I said, uh, this is my right hand. So he was, of course, my best man at my wedding. But a lot of shit happens on the way to my wedding. And um, bro has a whole speech at the wedding. It's none of it is about me. It's it ain't my life. fault. He lied me. He lied me, y'all. It ain't my fault. But go ahead, my bad. We are in the limo on the way to the wedding. <laughs> we in the we in the Uber in the truck on the way to the wedding, and I say something about well, when your speech coming, he say speech. I'm like, nigga, ain't time to have to give a speech. The nigga is the best man. Tay Diggs didn't know he had a speech to give. You know what I'm saying, shout out to my man, Coach Billy Baker. R.I.P. If y'all watch uh, All American, goddamn, that was crazy. Um, but yeah, the nigga to my he didn't know he had a speech to give. Now let's give a little bit of the backstory because the wedding might be a whole episode in itself. I still ain't worked that one out, but let's just give the. One of the sides for the wedding. I get engaged in March. Uh, actually, yeah, my aunt, yeah, my, we get engaged in March. We get married in July. So we don't have too much time for all of the BS. And on the way to the wedding, my brother is, gets in an uh, a accident. He falls 30 feet through a construction site. Same day that that happens, Rose actually, is, this, this is real day one type shit. He's actually on site when that shit happens. Um... Also, that's the same day EJ gets killed. You know me, you know EJ. Uh, I talked about EJ a thousand times on the podcast. Uh, so kind of on the way then, I'm like, shit, should we even be getting married now? Because this shit is goddamn chaos. Before that even happens, Chris has the car accident. When his hand comes out the window, he shatters his whole fucking hand. Chris is in the hospital for days, couldn't get the nigga on the phone. I never even knew what the fuck happened or whatever with that situation. So you got three months to plan a wedding. I got nobody that I can really say, hey, look, I need some money for this shit because it's only three months. You can't go to your mom, aunt, cousin, uncle, whoever the fuck it is at the situation and say, yo, look, I need a couple of dollars. So, you know, I pretty much forwarded the situation and made it happen. 
But we got all of that that leads into the way. And kind of things go crazy on you. So I understand that the man's focus wasn't exactly right. But I said, well, yeah, that's it. You, you, my bad, I don't mean to cut you off. But like nah, you're saying, ahead, like, you, 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 you know, somebody get engaged, you ain't even worried about the way. And like, you're like, all right, yeah, you, you got time. But again, in two months, you look up, boom, a month away is here. Let me tell you, Wade called me like, yo, I can get married next month. We got to play on the bachelor party. I'm like, damn, I'm like, that shit is a month away. Like, I wasn't even thinking about it. It seemed like you just got engaged, which you did. So, all everything from my perspective happened in like a two week time frame. So I was like, like the, the best man speech, I wasn't thinking about it all. And then you ain't even give a fuck about everything until like two weeks before when, when you got engaged, you're like, man, I ain't really worried about that. Yeah, yeah, I ain't worried about that. So I'm like, all right, we ain't really worried about that. Then like the, the clutch time, it was like, this gotta get done, that gotta get done, this gotta get done, that gotta get done. Like, damn, like I wasn't, I damn best man speech never crossed my mind not one time. Not sure. one. When we had a lead up to all of this shit, it was how much money I was spending on this shit. I'm not thinking about nothing of that shit because I'm just like, well, damn, you need another stack for this. This is another two stacks for this. And now you got to pay for his suit and his suit and his suit. Like, now this nigga's not answering the phone. Now we got to get right. a substitute. Right. Uh, you got to get a substitute groomsman now. Like shit, e EJ was in the wedding. That was how Wave ended up in the wedding because now he gets killed on the way to the wedding. Right. Or is hurt. He can't be in the wedding. Like I had, it was a lot going on at that time. Uh, a whole lot going on at the time. And like I said, it was, uh, even when we went and got the ring, it was just like, I didn't even tell you that's what we was doing until we was already going. <laughs> right. Everything was damn sure like, Last minute, yeah. Nobody gets married in three fucking months, but you, for real, for real. So the whole shit was just like last. Even if you say it was two months before, that's last minute for what? I mean, no doubt. See, my whole thing was that what I kept saying then, the shit that don't, the, the wedding don't, it don't matter. Them couple of hours that we gonna be in here, you are dancing, you are drinking, and all of that. That shit don't, that shit don't matter. The shit that matters is is seven years later and we still married. Like, for is sure. y'all gonna be that's happy? True. Is y'all gonna no really? Be no Do y'all really want to be together? That's the shit that you focus on, not who's at table six. Because guess what? For they sure. left the seating chart. They left the seating chart. So everybody who you did all of this, yeah, I got to put her over here at this table, put him over here at that table. None of that shit mattered because they left the seating chart. So niggas is just sitting anywhere. And a lot of niggas, like you said, a lot of niggas still paying for their wedding and they ain't even the governor. No yeah. Just because you know you had to have these pictures for the gram. I ain't... Right. I, I told somebody this recently. I don't even know where my picture, my wedding pictures is at. They probably in right. storage. I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think they're in storage. <laughs> um, I don't know how people do it. Get married just to get married. You know, people don't like attention. It. For sure, that, that's all it is. All it is. Yeah, it like that ain't really what you get married for. But um, now this whole episode is about bro making good on his best man speech this is take three because he fucked this up when i'm recording earlier we weren't gonna tell everybody about that but we did um so now <laughs> you said i fucked it up or we yes no no it's not a we situation brother no. you're your own player <laughs> the, 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 the speech or the or the miscommunication the last the, time the miscommunication um miscommunication speech, goes both ways brother i'll tell you that <laughs> i'm saying i got the speech still on my phone i don't know if i'm posting this video or not um I might, but I don't know if I might because I got to look at it and see who's in the video. Can we just be posting everybody on the gram? Uh, but now, this is Ro making good with his best man speech. As you know, if you've been listening to the podcast, probably like the last 10, 12 episodes, what I've been throwing at everybody is, when you hear my name, what do you think? Just to kind of build the situation up in case you wasn't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Paid talent like myself, March 12th, Hot Hustle Live Show. Tickets are available now. $15 at the link in my bio. You know, you can do that type of shit. So now the floor is yours, Ro. All right, I Where's got the a, best man speech? Uh, I got something. It ain't, not, it ain't not too crazy. Crazy thing about it is how you know it's real shit because a lot of shit that I said, this little bit of time we was on the phone came up. So this, this ain't no made up shit. It's all real shit. Um, so first I want to thank everybody for coming out last minute to my boy's special day. I'm the only person that gets engaged Monday and get married Friday. It was Thursday. This, <laughs> you get what I'm saying though. Turn gotcha. around, look up, boom, you're married. Um this is a day I never thought 
I see. I'm reading this, by the way, y'all. So don't don't grind me up. Um, e Black Radio I Network. Never on I see. Let's see the video. My bad. Go ahead. I, this is the day I never thought I'd see. I'm kind of still in disbelief. But if you know Hank, most likely you already know who I am. We technically cousins, but in real life we brothers. We've been riding together since birth. Like one day I opened my eyes, looked up, but boom, there he was. You hear people all the time say how they they say how they got a right hand man, a ride or die, and two years later they ain't even speaking no more. But we the real deal. We the real deal. Um, twenty plus years of loyalty. I ain't never had the questioning. He never fronted on me. If I was in desperate need and I only had one phone call, he the one I call, and vice versa. Unfortunately, today I have to pass the torch to my cousin slash sister in law, the tall John. If you already know C, you already know where that name's come from. There's no backstory behind it. It's honestly a good time to pass the torch because Brazilla burnt me out this weekend. And I'm not talking about C, I'm talking about Hank. But I ain't going to burn y'all out So, um, with a long speech. So to close it out, Hank, I love you. I wish y'all the best. And C, we know your social security number. So if it don't work out, the ring coming back. Copy that. <laughs> that, that's a lot better and I did that like 10 minutes that was a hell of a lot better than what he gave oh, fact, no, you know that's saying. what I'm saying <laughs> and I did that in 10 minutes I told you once I get the format I can just spit the shit out because it's all real shit that was definitely a lot better and for those who are going <laughs> if they talking about they was lifelong hyping 20 something no the speech is supposed to have been 7 years ago you know what I'm saying when I got right, married right 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 right, right, <laughs> right. Hey, man, that was another everybody. joint too I had to keep it in from back then like you know what I'm saying yeah. Everybody's math don't be mathing though, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, I, I started to say 30 plus, and then I was like, wait, when he can marry? I couldn't think of what, how old we was. That's why I just said 20 plus is a guarantee. Like, I'm just thinking of that. Like, nah, I copy that. Um, so, yeah, now that was pretty much what the episode was going to be. It was, was Roe giving me the speech because. I didn't get my proper speech. Uh, January, what was it? I'm about to say January. That's Kai's birthday. I'm about to say um, July 17th, uh, 2016 is my wedding anniversary. A um, hundred episodes though of the podcast, and there's a couple people that I definitely wanted to say something about on this episode. Number one, my wife. She was the one telling me from the rip that you could do this shit by yourself. You don't need to be doing this shit with all these other people. Like it's no problem if you did this shit by yourself. Ro, definitely another one who I talked to about it a thousand times who said you could do a spinoff and still do uh, OLF. It ain't really a conflict of interest. Uh, my sister, Sherelle, Rell was another one who kept saying you could do this shit by yourself. Uh, my first guest, my man TJ, TJ and EJ from It's Better This Way. Big shouts out to them. Talked to T for a minute yesterday. We had a very long conversation. That's my guy right there. Um when I came down to Dallas, my man T picked me up, ran me around all goddamn day. That's my man right there. Uh, another nigga from Dallas, my man Bruce Leroy. Salutations. This is Bruce Leroy, as my man will say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big shouts out to Bruce. BTG, Beller. Shouts out to Beller. BTG in Philly, uh, bridging the gap. Those brothers are rebranding. I don't want to get too much into the situation because I was with them last night and told them that's an episode. Let's not do that before we do it. My man Nah, uh, my man Nutmeg Nah, excuse me, man, my man Nutmeg Nah from Life Be Life, that's my guy right there too. Two One Six to Blend, uh, Bob and T, uh, I say Podcast Radio Network is those are my folks right there. Uh, e Block Radio Network, Q, um, my man Jock, Jock Johnson from Mississippi, another one. Uh, a lot of it's a lot of people. Uh, ain't gonna be able to name everybody, but I know. I know these individuals and people, Jackie, I, I'm just Jackie, the table, excuse me, Paco, uh, Black Paco, a lot of people who out there who I fuck with and they fuck with me genuinely. I talk to these people often. My man CT, shouts out to CT, shouts out to the brothers for plugging me with the whole CT situation. Um, Tokyo Jameson, I don't even know Tokyo ain't been online in a minute, but that's another one, North Carolina, that's my folks down there too. Um, a lot of people, I know I probably forgot you if I didn't mention you. You know that it's all love and it's, you know what I'm saying, shit be real with me. Um, I don't like the bullshit people. I always tell people, if you if you get me to say that I got you, it's the best shit you could ever hear. You hear the house phone is ringing again. Mom, 
<laughs> Shouts out to my mom, my daughter, too. Kai continues to ask me, can she get back on the podcast? Um, and 100 episodes, we're not stopping here. We definitely going to keep going with the situation. We definitely going to continue to get better at this situation. And we got a thousand more to go. This is one thing that I do want to throw at road. If we're going to start doing now, this is a new segment on the podcast before we go. We're going to call this one Hype on the Hot Seat. Give me, this is random joint. I didn't even tell him. This is the type of shit that happens at the Hot Hustle Live show. Two questions. Throw two questions at me. Two random joints you throw at me and I'll give you some quick answers. Pertaining to what? Anything? Whatever, brother. Whatever. Paid talent like myself has to be ready. <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh, I got to think. I'm, I'm wanna, I want to draw with you a married man, but I want to make it interesting. Hey, Anything on yeah, the I ain't no I don't know. Sister's locked in some weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, brother. Silence is loud on the podcast. Um, <laughs> Dad, you hit me last minute. I'm trying to think that two questions. I got to make them good ones. Um, All right. I got two more people, though, that I didn't mention. Definitely Chris. Another one. If you know me, you definitely know Chris. It's R.I.P. Chris and R.I.P. Wave. Uh, two people who I think I might do like uh, in memory of episodes. EJ too, but I still didn't put those situations together. And timing is everything with those situations. And I didn't get a chance to do it yet, but I think I'm going to do those too. Also, damn, GFT Radio. Shouts out to my GFT Radio fam. I, Willie. My nigga, Willie. You know what I'm saying? My man Willie Styles is in the building. My man be holding me down. Willie, Sonny, Smooth, Dame, shouts out to all of them. Now, bro, two random joints. All right. Mary, fuck, kill, right? All right, no Mary doubt. Drew. Drusilla, Sabrina, Chanel. Killing Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh shout out to my sis, but we killing Chanel. Uh remind me probably, to ask you your I ain't gonna ask you your reason as on the show, but remind me to ask you your We're marrying Drew and we're fucking Sabrina. All right. Second second question. Um Bachelor party, right? What would what would you what would you have rather did? What what was something that you would have wanted to do versus what we did? You know the situation with the bachelor party. I mean, I think we had a good time, but like I said, it wasn't really what the plan was. But circumstances, we did what we could do. What would you I rather? Mean, have, what would you have wanted to do? All right. So this was something we talked about. Uh, Ted too. Ted, another one. Shout out to my man Ted. I forgot about Ted. Um. Ted party, when we was talking about the shit we were supposed to do for board bachelor party, we were supposed to went to Vegas and we had the big ass mansion and all that. Right. That wasn't even my bachelor party, but I wish that we had did that shit because the amount of money that I was taking with me to tip on that trip, you know what I'm saying, was going I ain't to get gonna, I, don't, don't even say that though. Don't even say that though because again, that would have never happened in this situation. We wouldn't have pulled that off in three months. No, nah, you only pulled it off in three months. That's why I said my situation was different. Oh, because yeah. Because right. I know it's only three months. I said that from the rip. I couldn't go to nobody and say, yo, in two months, do you got four or five grand? Right. Or right. 10 or 12 or whatever. Right. <laughs> so, like, <clears throat> excuse me. I know I had to do all of that by myself. That's why I said to you, as the best party, realistically, nigga, do you need some money? Right. Like, nobody wants to come down, but I understand what our situation is here. And I ain't mad about the money that you need from me. But do you need it? Just don't tell me you don't need it and you need it. Like, right. But, um, yeah, we definitely, Vegas, man, like, that was, ooh, we just talked about that shit a couple weeks ago. That shit would have been crazy, man. Um, But that's episode 100, y'all. I appreciate you hitting the button all the times that you have. Appreciate you buying the tickets. Again, March 12th, How to Hustle Live show. Uh, custom hustle. We have the sneaks in any color that you want. Don't ask me, can I get this color and this color? We have every color under the <laughs> sun. Okay. Now we are out.
episode 100. My bad. Let me do it the right way. We are out.